F-35 intelligence gathering capabilities are one of the areas where it seems we have a lot of information, but in reality we know very little. Everyone knows that the aircraft is a flying computer, but what this means is never clarified. In fact, we know how many antennas do exist on the F-35, their location, we have pictures of the boxes processing the signal, and yet we know nothing about the actual capabilities. We are told that they are exceptional, and in fact, the number of dedicated electronic intelligence platforms in the Air Force inventory may be reduced because the requirement is covered, at least in part, by the F-35 sensors. However, we don't know on how many channels the aircraft can listen on, what is the sensitivity of the receivers, that is, how weak are the signals that can be received. We don't know how many signals can be processed at the same time. These are computationally intensive jobs which are crucial to fuse the data from other sensors, other aircraft, and recognize the target. We don't know how good the system is at coping with the low probability of intercept technologies, and so on. There is no doubt it is satisfactory, at least for the Air Force, but we don't know the real extent. The aircraft has on board a quite large solid state storage to preserve plenty of digital data, including the data gathered by the Integrated Electronic Warfare System ANASQ239. These data are used by the aircraft system for the so-called sensor fusion, or better, closed-loop sensor fusion, together with radar data to paint an electronic image of the electronic battlefield. In the Block 4, there will be a full integration of the optical systems in the fusion. I suspect that DAS is integrated already, but the EOTS is not, or, or so they say. Active and passive sensors provide a list of candidate targets. These are just waveforms received from the opponent's emissions. These waveforms are separated, amplified, converted into digital records, and then analyzed. Both the time domain and the frequency domain are used because the waveform shape and its frequency content can tell us a lot about the target. They can tell us where it is, where it is going, and crucially, give away hints about what it really is, and eventually also details like the stores hanging below the wings. Anyway, it is obviously crucial to be capable of telling a civilian radar or an airliner from an actual threat. <laughs>